Hello, this is Pam Gunderson, host of Union Ministries Bible Study and Christian Prophetic News. If you would like to be a missionary by proxy and see that other third world countries receive these notifications for these Bible studies, please click subscribe and then click the bell so that they will be notified of the up and coming scripture verses. Thank you for this courtesy and do a like and a share as well to help your brothers and sisters in Christ who are under duress. He is risen. He is risen indeed. This is Pam Gunderson, host of You and Him Ministries Bible Study and Christian Prophetic News. Welcome saints, church, and seekers. I am going to give you the scripture verses for Daily Manna today because I wanted to look in on you and let you know that we love you and that Jesus loves you. And I'm going to give you the verses now. They are Judges chapter 1 and 2, Psalms chapter 48 verses 1 through 8, Proverbs chapter 14 verses 15 through 17, and Luke chapter 14 verses 1 through 24. For April 18th, 2022, on Monday, the day after Resurrection Sunday, God bless you and you have a wonderful day day. I will see you tomorrow. Oh, and also I wanted to let you know that at the end of this video is a, a sinner's prayer or ability to seek the Lord for salvation as well as Jude 1, 24, 25, which is a blessing to close out the video. You get to the end of it, you'll see that. out there who has not accepted the Lord as their Savior? who is watching this video, I pray that you will accept him. All you have to do is admit that you are a sinner, A. B, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and C, confess your sins. And if you will do that, the Lord will forgive you and you will start a new journey. Uh, he takes it pretty easy on the new Christian. I've been a Christian for a very long time and now, now the fire uh, obviously John the Revelator went through the fire so I don't know why that's up <laughs> I'm looking at stuff here so I'm going to wish you adieu a good day I'm going to uh, we will go ahead and uh, my you'll see my information at the end of the video where you can reach me uh, and of course you can always call me at 833 Pam Talks or 833-726-8255. You can uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 email me at Pam at you and him uh, ministries, you and him dot info or you and him Pam at you and him ministries dot com. It's been a while since I've done this. Uh, I don't retain things very long if I haven't been doing it. And our address is 10 um, uh, It'll be at the end of the video. I'm not. I'm not going to mess it up. Uh, but it's Aberdeen, Washington. And uh, then let's go ahead and do the benediction, which is Jude, chapter one, verses twenty-four through twenty-five. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of His glory with rejoicing, to the only God our Savior through Jesus Christ our Lord be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. May his face shine upon you. May his face shine upon you. Folks, time is growing short. We know this is, I'm going to play with something here while I'm on here with you. Time is growing short. And you get need to get your seatbelts on. And the seatbelt is the Word of God. You need to be sitting in the Word of God, and it needs to be sitting in you. Uh, if you are um, not getting some extra food while you're out, I would suggest you do that at uh, every shopping trip. Start thinking about your pantry. If uh, the food shortage starts and the uh, fertilizer is not coming in because of the Russia-Ukraine, you have to realize 
that gardening is going to be uh, at a premium. Seeds, uh, if you see some gardening seeds, I would get them and put them away. You want probably hybrid, uh, hybrid and heritage seeds. Maybe not for this year, but for next year. Get some soil in. If you don't know how to garden, go out there and plant something. Make the mistake now so that you can learn how to do it. If you uh, don't know how to make bread, if you have a bread maker, great. But also get your hands in the flour and the dough. Find out ways that you will be able to sustain, uh, sustain yourself during what I believe is uh, a Joseph situation. We've had good years through Trump, and now we're going into a period where we have someone who seems to have a problem understanding that all he has to do to stop this gas shortage or height is to open up the Canada price uh, pipeline and then there's another pipeline. You might want to ask yourself, if he's president of the United States and he's shutting these down, who whose orders are he, is he taking? Anyway, we're into 13 minutes. I wish you would do. I uh, bless you. And I am Pam Gunderson, host of You and Him Ministries Bible Study and, and uh, Prophetic News. And I will see you again tomorrow. If you don't see me again tomorrow this way, and this is the same video you see, I'm under the gun, but you will see the scriptures up the same place that I put them up uh, these last two uh, times I mentioned them, and then I will come and go as, uh, uh, as I can. But the Lord's plan, obviously, is not for me reading the scriptures. This is something you need to do, and I enjoy it. And you can listen to these scriptures. They're there. You can pull up anybody online or on your uh, phone that's reading these scriptures so that you can read it with it in, your, uh, in front of your face, hold it in your hands, and hear it with your ears. That way you'll be able to retain it. Then journal. Then the Lord will be able to speak something into your life. Right now, I have got all kinds of books and scriptures that I'm having to study. So don't worry about me not reading the Daily Word. I want to make sure that you have it, though. God bless you. I love you all. I miss you all. Some of you I know in person. Anyway, God bless, and I will see you manana, either with the scriptures or in person. God bless.